When you want to create a brand new document in Photoshop, all you have to do is either go to File and choose New or press Command or Control N on your keyboard. This will launch the New Document dialog box. As you can see, I can name my document because it's already highlighted. All I have to do is start typing and I can name it. I can also choose something called a preset. Now this is really handy when you want to choose something such as photo paper or film sizes so that you can then take your Photoshop documents into After Effects as an example or even Premiere Pro. You can also work with web sizes and as you see here you can see the common sizes for web pages. Now let me just talk very quickly about the difference between working on something that you're going to print out as opposed to something that you're going to view on the computer screen. When you print things out, you'll be dealing with inches. And when you work on the internet or a video game, you'll be working with points or pixels. Now points, of course, is going to be when you're working with text. So you can choose like a 24 point text and that kind of thing. But you'll be dealing with pixels. 640 pixels that you see here for the width of this web page and 480 for the height. You can also change these guys on your own and save your own preset as you see over here. So if I say to myself I want to make this 645, the preset name automatically changes to custom. Then I can save this preset and then choose it from the list. I can also delete a preset in the same way. I can also decide to work in a color space such as RGB, which once again is for use on the computer, a website, a video game, a flash document, or CMYK when I want to go to press. For example, a magazine cover. So you have red, green, and blue, and cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. When I create a brand new document, Often, I'll choose transparent as my background color, so that way I don't have to worry about highlighting the background to get rid of it when I want to save things with transparent backgrounds for use on a website. So this is an example of how you can create a new document inside of Photoshop CS4. Once again, you can choose a preset based on what you want to create, and you can modify that preset and then save it and then choose it from this list. Once you've selected your document size and everything, click OK, and then you can start to work.